In this lecture, you will learn how we can update an existing record in the database by making an HTTP put request to the server. So, in the last lecture, we implemented the functionality where when the edit button of a task is clicked, it will open a form like this and in that form, the fields will be auto-populated with that task detail. Now here, the user can go ahead and change the details. For example, he can change the description or the title of the task or whom it should be assigned to, when it was created, what is the severity and what is the current status. And when the user clicks on this update task button, it should update the details of that task in the database. Okay. Now here, this edit form and this create form, both of them are same. That means this create task button and this update task button, it is same. So any one of these buttons will be clicked. If I go to VS code and if I go to create task component.html, so those buttons are same. So whether we click on update task button or we click on create task button, since both the buttons are same and this button is of type submit, a submit event will happen. The ng submit event will happen on this template driven form. And when that ng submit event will happen, we are calling this on form submitted method. So no matter whether the update task button is clicked or the create task button is clicked. In both the cases, this on form submitted method will be called. Now, if we go to this on form submitted method of this create task component. So here we have this on form submitted method. Inside this method, what we are doing is we are emitting this emit task data event and also this close form event. So this emit task data event, it is going to emit the form data and we are handling this event. Let me close this task.ts file. And if we go to dashboard component there, we are handling that event by calling this create task method. So if I go to dashboard component.ts, let's also close this create task component.html. And if we go to dashboard component.ts there, we are calling this method create task, right? So it is this method which we are assigning to this emit task data event. So this method will be called and inside this method, we are calling this create task method of this task service. Now this create task method of this task service, it is going to send a post request to the server. So let's open this task service class and here we have this create task method inside this task service. So it is basically going to make an HTTP POST request to the server in order to create a new task. All right. Now here, since on submit, this same create task method will be called, we need to modify this method in order to handle both POST request and PUT request. That means we need to modify this method in such a way that it can also handle creating a new task and it can also handle updating an existing task. Let's see how we can do that. But before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this method to create or update task because this method is going to take care of both. And let's go ahead and let's assign this method to ng submit event. So here to this emit task data event, we are going to assign that method create or update task. Let's save the changes here. Now let's go back to our dashboard component.ts. Here, let me close this task service file. Okay, now here we want to create a new task if this edit mode is false. If this edit mode is true, that means we want to update an existing task. So here we will write an if statement first, and there we will say if this dot edit mode. So if this dot edit mode is false, so for that I'll also use this not operator before that. So if it is false, this edit mode is false, that means this expression here will return true because we have used a not operator before it. In that case, we want to create a new task. Otherwise, if this edit mode is true, that means we are trying to edit a task. So in that case, we are going to call another method from this task service. So here for now, let's give some comment. Okay, we will implement it later. Now let's go to 
task service file and there just like we have this create task delete task get all task in the same way let's also create a method and let's call it update task okay and let's go ahead and let's call this update task method from within the dashboard component so here now let's say this dot task service dot update task okay so if the edit mode is false that means we want to create a new task but if it is true in that case we want to update an existing task now let's go back to task service.ts file and there let's try the logic for updating the task so in order to update a record in the server we make put request so when we want to create a new record we make a post request when we want to fetch all the records we make a get request when we want to delete a record we make a delete request in the same way when we want to update a record we make a put request and from angular in order to make a put request again first we need to have an instance of http client class and that instance we are storing in the http property so here we are going to access that http property and on this http property we have a method called put okay using this put method we can send a put request to the server now this put request takes two mandatory arguments the first argument is the url to which we want to send a put request and the second argument is the data which we want to send with the put request so basically using put request we want to update a record and in order to update a record we also need to send the new data with which we want to update that record right so these are the two mandatory parameters let's call the second parameter maybe data now currently we don't have any data value here but we are going to see how we can get this data but for now let's first specify the url so if i go back to the web page and if we go to our database there currently we have two records let's say i want to edit this second record so in order to edit the second record first we need to come to this database for that we have this database url in that database we have this tasks collection and in that tasks collection we have this document with this unique key so in order to access this second document we are going to use the database url slash the collection name slash the unique id for that document so i have already copied this database url let's go back and let's pass it here then in that database we want to go to tasks collection and in that tasks collection we want to access the task which we want to update based on its unique id based on this unique value this unique key and we are storing this key in the id property of our task object which we are creating right so here what i'm going to do is here i'm also going to append the id value and then to that we also need to add dot json because again a document is nothing but a json data so we need to append dot json to it now from where we are going to get this id and this data which we want to pass with this put request well let's say we are going to get this id and data as a parameter to this function so this id it is going to be of type string or it can also be undefined because we have set this id as an optional property in the task class and then we are also going to get the data and this data it is going to be of type task okay and not to use this task we need to import it all right so we are going to get this id and this data as an argument to this update task method now just like other methods just like get post and delete method this put method it is also going to return us an observable so here what we are going to do is we are going to subscribe to that observable so let's say dot subscribe and when we are subscribing here when the put request will be sent we will receive a response and we can handle that response by passing a callback function to this subscribe method but here we don't want to do anything with the response that's why i'm not passing any callback function and i'm not writing any logic to handle that response okay all right now we are calling this update task method from our dashboard component there when we are calling this method we need to pass the value for the id parameter and the data parameter 
Now, from where we are going to get the value of ID parameter? Well, if you notice, below we have created a method called on edit task clicked. That means when the edit button for a task will be clicked, we are going to get the ID of that task. So here I'm going to create one property. Let's call this property maybe current task ID. You can name it anything and it is going to be a string value. Initially, let's set it with empty string. All right. And when the edit button will be clicked, we will set this current task ID with this ID value. So at the top, what I'll do is I'll say this dot current task ID equal to this ID value. Okay. And now we can pass this current task ID as the value for the ID parameter to this update task method. So here, let's say this dot current task ID. Now we also need to pass the data with which we want to update the task and we are going to get that data inside this data parameter. So let me copy it and let's pass it to this method. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. Let's go to our application. And first of all, let me try to update this second record. So for the second record, let's say the title is demo task two in the database. Also, you will see that the title is demo task two. So let me try to update this record. So let's click on this edit button. This edit form will open there. Let's change the title to demo task new. Okay. And let's also change this assigned to to maybe John Smith 2. Currently, if you notice, assigned to is set to John Smith. Now we are changing it to John Smith 2. And now when I click on this update task button, the form is closed. Let's go to our database. And there you will notice that title has changed to demo task new and assigned to has changed to John Smith 2. So our update functionality is working as expected. If I go back to our application and if I click on this fetch tasks button, these details should be updated as you can see. And now if I try to create a new record, in that case, the form is empty. The button says create task. Let's try to create a new task. And let's click on this create task button. So the form is closed. If we go to the database, you will notice that one more record with those details have been created here. So both insert and update is working as expected. If we go to our application and if I click on this fetch task button, it will fetch all the tasks from the database. So now from this Angular application, we are able to perform CRUD operation in our database. We are able to create new records. We are able to update existing records. We are able to fetch all the records from the database. And we are also able to delete records in the database. So now you know how to perform CRUD operation in your Angular application. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.